let's skip to our last section of the class and talk about systems of equations where we're going to be dealing with only two equations at the same time and these equations involve two unknowns or two variables. The goal here is to find values for x and y which make these two equations both true. And I'll demonstrate what we mean towards the end when we check our answer here. But for now, I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about the substitution method of solving systems of equations. You start by picking an equation and a variable and then solving that equation for that variable. So in this case, we've got some choices here. We could solve equation 1 here for x or y, or we could solve equation 2 here for x or y. And since you have a choice, make the choice easier on yourself. It really doesn't matter which one you pick. You should come out with the same answer either way. So I'm going to arbitrarily pick, let's say, equation 2, and I'm going to solve for y in equation 2. So I'll label that down here, trying to write out all my steps and all my thoughts as solving for y in equation 2. Well, that means if I just focus on equation 2, I'm going to have to subtract 2x from both sides. So by doing that, I'm going to get y equals 4 minus 2x. And I'm going to call this equation 3. Because in the very next step, I'm going to use equation 3 in the other equations, in equation 1, in the unused, if you will. I've already used 2 to get 3. I'm going to use 3 in the unused equations. In this case, there will only be one unused equation, but you can have systems of three equations or four equations or however many equations that you like. But sticking to this case, so the unused equation in this case is equation number one because we haven't yet touched it. So we're going to write down equation one, but instead of writing y, we're going to use 3 to write down 4 minus 2x instead, because 3 tells us that y is 4 minus 2x. So equation 1 is now going to look like 3x plus, not y, but 4 minus 2x. And I'm going to put that in parentheses. It's not going to make a difference in this case, but getting in the habit will be helpful to you um, when you have negatives here or things that need to be distributed. So this is our new equation 1 using equation 3 to replace y. And So what do we get? Well, this is 3x plus 4 minus 2x. I can combine the 3x and the minus 2x. That leaves me with x the plus 4, I can't combine with x, I have to move it to the other side. So I'm going to have to subtract 4 from both sides. And in doing so, I've got half my answer. I now know that x needs to be 1. I need to find out what y is. Well, I can plug it back into equation 1. 
I could plug x equals 1 into equation 2 and solve for y. But be easy on yourself. If we plug it into 3, that'll be the easiest of all. So once you have a solution, kind of back substitute, if you will, work your way back up the problem to simplify and find your other answers. So using x equals 1, we're going to look at equation 3. Go ahead and label this as, remember this is equation 1, but using equation 3. Now we're going to look at equation 3, but using x equals 1. So this is referencing equation 3, but again using x equals 1 this time. Because now we've got new information. Well, 2 times 1 is 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So our answer is that in order for these two to be true simultaneously, x has to be 1, and y has to be 2. Now, what did I mean by these two things have to be true simultaneously? Well, perhaps it'll be clear or at least more clear, if I demonstrate how to check your answer. To check your answer, you're going to plug x equals 1 and y equals 2 into both equations. And we want both equations to be true. So is it the case that 3 times 1 plus 2, so instead of 3 times x, it's 3 times 1, and instead of plus y, it's now plus 2, is this equal to 5? Well, yeah, yeah, it is. So far, so good, but we also need equation 2 to be true as well. So if we do 2 times 1 plus, not y, but 2, is what's on the left, is that the same thing as 4? 2 times 1 plus 2, 2 plus 2, yeah, that's 4. So everything checks out. Both equations turn out to be true when you let x be 1 and y be 2. That's what we mean when we say solve a system of equations. Find the values for the variables involved that make all the equations true at the same time.